Do writers really work in pajamas? Hello, and welcome back to Fashion Bites. I'm Ellen Byram, author of The Screwball Noir, Crime of Fashion Mysteries, featuring Lacey Smithsonian, a fashion reporter who solves crimes with fashion clues. You probably all know that we live in an increasingly sloppy world where casual Friday reigns supreme and seasonal apparel disorder can be viewed in any season. People wear anything to work. But what about writers, many of whom work at home? January is the season of getting back to work, so I thought I'd pose a work-related fashion question. Do writers really work in their pajamas? A lot of them claim to do so. Are they tucked up in their favorite fluffy robes while they describe linens and laces, party frocks, and ball gowns? I have long heard writers proclaim they write in their pajamas. Are they really that casual? But first, let's see how Hollywood thinks writers work. This is a picture of Waldo Lidecker, played by Clifton Webb in the 1944 film Laura. Waldo is the outrageous columnist who is obsessed with Laura. And my favorite part? He writes in the bathtub and even answers police detective Dana Andrews in the tub. I can't stop wondering about how long the water stays hot. Does he splash it on his copy? Does the ink run? How long does he stay in there? Does he get cold? Does his skin wrinkle? Or is he merely posing for effect? But I also love that the marble tub makes writing look so glamorous. Contrast that with this more realistic picture of a writer in Home Sweet Homicide by Craig Rice, also written in 1944. Mother, J.J. Lane, at this moment, didn't look up. She was half hidden behind a battered brown wood desk which was littered six inches deep with papers, pages of manuscripts, notes, reference books, used carbon paper, and empty cigarette packages. Her shoes were off, and her feet were curled around the legs of a small typewriter table, which seemed to be fairly dancing as she typed. Her dark hair was pinned up every which way on top of her head, and there was a black smudge on her nose. The room was filled with smoke. The book also mentions several times that she writes in her writing pants. This feels very realistic to me, and women were starting to wear pants a lot in the 1940s. But what do real writers wear? I asked this question on Facebook a while back and received some interesting answers. This is not scientific, but anecdotal. The results are from 50 responses. I broke the answers down into eight categories. However, some answers cut across categories, so I put them where they fit best. They include answers from mystery writers and playwrights. The majority who answered were women, but there were also a handful of men. Category 1. 13 authors write in pajamas, nightgowns, and robes, and what they termed sleepwear. Category 2. 10 writers work in yoga pants, leggings, and tops, or workout clothes, and one writes in tie fishing pants and a top. All very casual and comfortable. Category 3. Three authors specifically said they wear pajamas in the morning and switch to yoga pants and tops in the afternoons. It's good to have a habit. Category four, three scribes prefer to write in sweats. Category five, three writers claim to write in the nude, but not in the bathtub. One author from Florida works in a bathing suit. Category six, Eight writers prefer to get down to business in jeans, pants, or shorts, and tops. Category seven, two writers like to pen their work in long dresses or house dresses that are comfortable. Category eight, five authors can't work without being showered and dressed, and the women in makeup with their hair fixed. What about me? I am with the writers who have to be dressed. I don't want to wear anything too restrictive, and I always wear makeup. I am at work, therefore I am dressed. It's hard enough to convince people when you're at home, you're really working. Of course, many days, I also take my work to a coffee shop or to the library to be out and about among people. It helps to be dressed. But I want to talk about some of the comments that I also received, which I thought were pretty priceless. What are pajamas? My mind is most clear when I put myself together in makeup and comfortable clothes. Not gonna lie, sometimes any pants are too many pants. 
Thank God for curtains. Sweats for me. And if I have to go out, I just pretend I'm somebody else. Wait, are we supposed to wear clothes? PJs and lipstick. Gotta look good. Since I am a binge rather than a daily writer, I tend to write in whatever I'm wearing when I open my laptop. Now, you know the answer to my question. A lot of people write in clothing they wouldn't wear out on the street. Their sartorial choices vary and are wide. Cheers! If you want to know more about me or my books, check out my website at ellenbyram.com. I am also on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And please, if you like this video, you can like it. You can also subscribe to the videos. That way, you won't miss out on any. And I'll see you next time. Bye.